Hello everyone, welcome. I'm MasterMitch21, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial of how to live stream to Twitch and or YouTube using the Elgato HT60. Um, and this is what I do every single time I live stream. Um, so it's a pretty familiar process for me. It's not too hard to do, um, and I'm just gonna explain it to you guys. So first thing you wanna do is pull open your Game Capture HD device. Um, as you can see, I have it right here. And you wanna go ahead and check right here in the settings. Um, you can first thing you can do is enable um, the flashback recording. You can disable that. Um, right now I'm currently recording, so I'm not able to adjust these settings. But just for um, the sake of whenever you are doing the video, you want to unclick um, that button right there. Uncheck that box because it's it, there's no reason in um, having flashback recording. It just slows down your system and your software um, because it does not help you while you're live streaming. Because it's I mean there's no value in going back anyway because you're live. So it won't make a difference. Just uncheck that and it'll save you a little bit of the trouble um, right there alone. So then the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to disable the preview um, if you cancel out of that um, and you disable preview it's going to give you guys like so much better response time on your um, video because of the fact that it's not taking up a lot more of your um, software right here that it would normally take up so the next thing you want to do is if you go to the enable stream command if you see right there and you're wondering what stream command is it's something that the Elgato HG60 brought us it's really really interesting actually but it does require a higher operating system. You guys can see right here, if your stream command, um, if your PC does not run um, an i7 CPU um, or comparable to that um, with 2 gigahertz or higher before Turbo Boost, and then it says with 4 gigabytes of RAM or higher, if, it's, if you're not running that second generation Intel Core i7, um, there's a good chance that you, pro or something comparable to that, there's a good chance you probably should not run the stream command. It's going to be harder on your console, um, and, or on your system itself, and um, on, your P on your PC, and also it's not going to help you with your live stream. It's probably going to slow down everything and look really, really laggy, so... Um, that's the, that's the one thing you really want to notice. So if you are having that trouble and you know your PC is not, you check the specs and everything. Just uncheck that box right there, and that will save you um, a little more trouble. But if you can run that, um, here's what that will allow you to do. It'll allow you to a able to add a camera over your. Uh, I guess if you preview it, it'll be able to um, allow you to add a camera over it if you want to. Um, go ahead and minimize that real quick. Add a camera there, um, or any overlay that you would like to do. So for example, whenever I live stream, I like to use that overlay right there with my webcam which would go naturally right there um, so it just looks really neat or if you want like the logo on there you just simply want a camera um, all of these will give you individual things or if you don't want anything you can just leave it like that so that's what that will bring you and you can you can adjust them very very easily um, it's not hard to do whatsoever so that that's part of the value of using the stream command if your PC can run that so the next thing you're going to what you're going to want to do is um, pull up a um, some sort of speed test that you can use. Um, I prefer speedtest.net. That's um, really simple. All right, here you guys can see um, because it's very it's very user friendly. It's it's not hard at all. I mean, you literally click two buttons once you pull open this website um, and you're done. So you're gonna want to enable or test the um, speed test. Test my connection is what I believe what it says. And then it's going to give you your ping. And then it's going to go ahead and get, tell you what your download speed is and your upload speed every single time that you live stream. Um, right before you live stream, probably about 10 to 15 minutes before, you should check this because um, it may vary on day to day or time of the day that it is. But um, as you guys can see, I have a 3.43 upload speed. Now the download speed really doesn't matter except for in game. Um, it may have it may be a little bit slower. Um, quality of gameplay itself like I may be lagging a little bit if I'm if it's too low but at 36.63 um, megabits, megabits per second it's not gonna give me any trouble but on the upload you're definitely gonna want to check that alright so you're gonna want to check that though and if the upload speed is at 3.43 you're gonna want to take it down one whole number um, to, so for example if it's 3.43 or in that general area about right there you're gonna want to pull it down total to one so at least a 2.25 um, if you have a 3.25 or somewhere in that general area um, because that will give you the best possible streaming value um, that you can get so that would be my highest recommendation is to simply do that and 2.25 at 720 P um, 30 frames per second. That's still really, really decent quality for live streaming. Um, obviously, if you have a really high connection, or if you have a low connection, I know if some people have a three uh, or two upload speed regularly, you're gonna want to live stream at about a, a one, which is gonna look really slow. You guys can see it's a 640 by 480 at 30p. That's gonna be that's gonna be pretty slow, honestly. But it's it's still gonna be um, 
it's still going to help you than if you try to stream at your maximum upload because it's not going to give you very much um, possibility of use. So I would definitely put about 2.25. That's a really good standard to leave it at um, for the most part. And then you can go ahead and enable the commentary if you want. That's It's very simple. You just click the button um, and you're going to want to adjust the audio. I like to leave my audio about 6 or 7 right in that general area. And I like to pull the game audio down to about like a 30 or so because I feel like sometimes when I'm talking the gameplay can be drowned out um, very easily. So you can also check this box here it says automatically reduces game sound uh, I don't really like to use that because sometimes if I'm talking um, it'll it'll be like really really silent and then it'll go like really loud so I just like to have my custom settings right here um, that's just personal preference now the next thing you want to do after you've done all of this and you've tested everything you can also go in here to your game capture um, settings and you can I like to leave it on about the best quality now 60 FPS you can see we don't need frames per second of 60 because we're only running 30 right now anyway and same with the HD 1080 but that's just for the profile that's my standard off it on my Xbox one so that's just some of the seconds you can adjust as well so before you get the stream set up on your Elgato HD 60 you're gonna go want to go over to your YouTube channel um, and go to live events if you're doing this through YouTube um, if you're not if you're doing it through twitch um, it's a lot easier actually you can just simply click a few buttons and as long as your twitch account is set up and it's done so you're gonna want to pull up a live event you're gonna select a new event, or schedule one, I mean. And let's say, for example, this is like my standard that it was. I believe it's the first time I streamed. Um, so, whatever you want to say in there, you can create event. And then you can you can throw in whatever you would like to, thumbnail-wise, if you really want to. Um, and then you're gonna want to create new stream. You're gonna want to call it whatever you want to. I guess like um, AW for Advanced Warfare, and then let's call it Speakeasy or ASM, ASM1, for example. Um, Speakeasy. Because I believe that's what I was already pulled up as. Anyways, then you can just throw in whatever um, right there. And then you can go ahead and you want to set it right about what you're at. Um, and since I mentioned 720 is what I usually stream at. Um, it was between the uh, 1.5 and the 4.0, which is what um, it is on the megabits per second. Um, down upload speed, you're going to want to put it in that general area if you're running from uh, 1.5 to 4. So at 2.25, you're right in the middle of that, and that's a good spot to be. Um, and there's no reason enabling 60 FPS because you guys can see on the stream we were not able to get that. We're running a 30 FPS. So then you'll save the changes. All right, so all you need to do from here on out is you would click the stream right here. And it will pull up the exact one that we just created the new event for, um, which saves a lot of time in my opinion if you do this way. Um, 50 bomb or something. This is something I did a while back. But all you have to do is hit the start stream, and it'll immediately start live streaming. Um, and it'll render about like probably 15 to 30 seconds estimated right there. Um, and then it'll show you a little red on air right in that general area. So that is that's a very very simple walkthrough of it. And it's not hard whatsoever to do. Um, as I mentioned, you definitely want to make sure you have some of these things disabled for the most part. If your PC cannot run it um, and if it can then um, you, you can use it or you can simply not but um, you, if you also use the OBS the um, open broadcasting software to use it you won't really need the commentary on here or the webcam you can set it up in a different overlay and it'll it'll satisfy you so it just depends on how you want to do it but personally I think the Elgato is the easiest to use if you just use the commentary through here and then you allow your overlay to be pulled up through here and then your webcam it's, it's not hard and it doesn't cause too much trouble so that is a very simple walkthrough of how you do a live stream um, on Twitch and on YouTube um, through the Elgato HD60. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and this tutorial. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. Hey there, check these videos out.